Well, Ibrahim Zawina, food industry's number hard is expanding its international horizon to cover Indonesia and Thailand within 12 months. Ibrahim Zawina Group of Companies Executive Chairman Datuk Sri Ibrahim Ahmad said it is now waiting for approval from authorities in both countries. The company has currently expanded its presence in ready-to-eat products to Japan, Jordan, Australia, the Philippines, Europe and the United States. Overall, the company has 42 retort packaged food, making it the number one player in Malaysia. Inshallah, we, we hope to, to be carrying on with new products uh, as, as, as we go along. But the challenge of uh, trying to explain is much less now. People, people fully understand uh, the, the concept of the pouch. He said the company plans to launch new products every one or two years. Its latest products are ready-to-eat light meals, MRE, featuring rice, the Chinese-styled fried rice, soy sauce fried rice and spicy fried rice. All products are being sold in most supermarkets in Malaysia and expected to contribute about 15% to total sales. In August, Brahim's Davina Food Industries will start to export these three new variants to several countries. It's also looking to get approval to export meat-based products to Europe and the United States because now it is only non-meat ready to eat products. Currently, MRE rice meals contribute 40% to sales, while the rest are coming from the source segment. Asked about its preparations towards the re-implementation of the Sales and Services Tax, SST, on 1st September, Dr. Sri Ibrahim said the company was looking at mechanisms to ensure it is cost-effective. As far as we're concerned, we try to maintain the 4% to actually depend on the raw material that you buy, what price you pay, imported product and so on, and easily be absorbed. So basically, for consumers, it will still be, still be cheaper. Lah.